The countdown to high school football is on with WDAM 7's Players of the Pine Belt, sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. The Golden Tornadoes are all business this summer. Braden Jordan has been one of the key leaders, and he can't believe it's his senior year. It feels good, but it don't feel good at the same time. Last year, like, when coaches were telling us, like, it was going to come fast, I didn't really believe it. And now I came fast, now I know what's expected of me this year. Braden Jordan has lofty goals for the Golden Tornadoes and himself this season. After sharing the backfield as a junior, Braden gets the bulk of the carries this year and isn't shying away from the responsibility. He's just gotten better every year, and I think last year uh, was kind of our bell cow down the stretch. Um, ran for over 1,000 yards last year. We expect this year um, for him to just take the next step in his maturation. He's one of those kids that never misses a day in the weight room. Um, he's one of the first ones to get there and one of the last ones to leave. Just a good kid, and we're going to lean on him, and we're going to lean on a lot of other kids. It's not something we're going to ask him to do by himself, but um, he does factor heavy into what, what our plans are for the 23 season. Braden knows the expectations better than most. The latest in a long line of talented running backs to come through Laurel. He knows the Tornadoes want to redeem last year's first-round playoff exit. Man, we've been excited since January. Yeah. <laughs> since we first got off the uh, last season, we knew what we had to do. Make it to uh, state. This whole summer, we got two, we got busy. Everybody got stronger, got faster. We hungry. That's it. We hungry. Well, it's a new region for Laurel, and their first five games are brutal. They got West Jones, the Jug game, week two between the Bricks, Jeff Davis, and then at Meridian and at Oak Grove.